if you keep your eyes and ears open. Lessons from God will be revealed. You'll find them in simple things that are all around you. Last week's meditations focused on the ocean's sky. This week's inspiration came from seaside birds. Get anywhere near an ocean and you will see seagulls coasting on the wind and you'll hear their raucous calls. You may also observe how opportunistic they are, especially when it comes to food. In Luke 8, verse 23, Jesus opportunistically grabs a few winks of sleep. While they were sailing, Jesus fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake and the boat was filling with water and they were in danger. This is the word of the Lord. And my thoughts today were not inspired by the seagull's cry or its beautiful flight but by its opportunistic scavenging. Hundreds of seagulls will gather at a dump to pick over the trash. They'll also swoop down for a clam shell, carry it high, then drop it to break it open for its food. But why go to all that trouble if they can help themselves to food at a picnic table? Seagulls survive and thrive by making the most of any opportunity that presents itself. Humans can be opportunistic too, and not just in munching on snacks they come across. People seize opportunities as they come along, carpe diem. Young mothers make efficient use of rare minutes their toddlers are playing quietly. Children take advantage of naive babysitters. Students love fire drills that get them out of class and out of doors. Adults have been known to use convenient interruptions or distractions to end long phone calls or unpleasant conversations. Jesus made the most of those times he could get away by himself to pray. He took advantage of that brief time it took to sail across the Sea of Galilee by curling up in the boat and taking a nap. He was tired. He would have slept right through that storm if the disciples hadn't woken him when they panicked. Life's Busyness makes sleep deprivation common in our culture. It's not always possible for us to set aside chunks of time to pray. Few people can take an entire day to observe a Sabbath. But perhaps we suffer more than we need to from a shortage of rest and quiet and prayer. Maybe we'd do better if we were a little more opportunistic. Take a cat nap now and then. Pray when stopped at a stoplight. Set aside an hour or two to observe a Sabbath time. We will unearth more time for our faith life if we learn to be opportunistic, like Jesus, like seagulls. So be it. Today's quote is, in, is taken from an anthem inspired by Psalm 37, written by Felix Mendelssohn. O rest in the Lord, wait patiently for him, and he shall give thee thy heart's desires. Commit thy way unto him, and trust in him, and fret not thyself because of evildoers. O rest in the Lord, and wait. Wait patiently for him. I leave you with this blessing. May the beauty of God's creation that you see and the joyful songs of birds you hear cause you to lift your heart to God 
in gratitude and joy. Allow God to bless you in such small ways and you will find that you are richly blessed. Amen.